This is the finished product of what you should be able to create after following this tutorial. 3D Perspective Boxes. In this Fireworks CS4 graphics design tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create custom 3D perspective boxes. And you can go into the Shapes selection and grab the 3D box. And then grab the center point. And you can cock it any way you like. Cock it to the side, backwards, upside down, anything you want to do. But I'm going to cock mine sort of like that. Maybe like that. Okay. And what I want to do is use this as a wrapper for all sides of my box. So I'm going to. So you can make a custom logo or little rectangle that you want to use. And or a little square that you want to use or whatever shape that your box is going to be on the sides so let's go ahead and remove this uh, fill make it none so that way we just have a frame and let's make that the same color no actually let's leave that white I mean black now we'll uh, grab this flash we'll grab this flash icon we'll bring it in we'll make sure we flip this one modify transform flip it horizontal this one's going to be in the back now we'll zoom in by holding control and mouse wheeling in or out and then we can adjust the points on that item then we can distort this item just bring all the corners to where they should be right in the corners it's very easy just dragging nothing special and then this one maybe over one there so now our box has a back looks like this one needs to go over one as well there that's good okay see now the box has a back and the icon is on there just like it should be so let's take this control C control V get another copy of it we're gonna slap this one on the side over there and this one it really wouldn't matter too much but we're still going to flip it actually we can just use that other one we'll use this so you can go up here to flip horizontal see these little icons up here will let you manipulate shapes arrange them and such okay so let's get this one into place now okay so using that method I'm gonna go all the way around the box with the icon closing it up let's go to the distort tool I'll show you this one more and then I'll do all the rest of my sides on my own put that there put that there put that right there booyah so easy okay so now I'm going to fill in the front and the side and those won't have to be flipped horizontally okay never mind that because I just realized that I'm gonna have to show you something if you some people might not happen to know so I'm going to show it so what happens is when we control C and control V copy and paste another copy of that it's behind that box we need it in the front so let's press control shift up or you can use the arrange tool up here to bring it to any layer that you need and so you'll see that when you put that in there let's zoom in by holding control and mouse wheel you see when we put that on top of the box we're going to try and distort it 
we can't see the edges of the box and that's no good so we'll go here to the opacity of the item and now we have a real clear view of our edges in the box where we need to get that thing sunk into so now we can go ahead and distort pop that edge in, pop this edge in, pop this edge in and then bring it back up to 100% opacity. Now we're looking good. Now we can take this one, control C, control V, bring it to front here. See how it's in front? Do the same thing to the opacity. And now let's manipulate it. So let's make sure we're in the right starting point there and distort you go here you go here and that corner goes right there bring the opacity back up look at air it looks like this edge might need to come maybe one more pixel to the right so let's move it over there we go this one down and over one beautiful okay now what we can do see now we have a nice box now we take the edge which is the box and sync it up to the color of the box make it a dark, nice dark red maybe there we go and now you see you have a custom box so these would have to be a little darker these edges on the inside perspective of the box and what we're going to do is make them a little darker here we'll go out to filter adjust color brightness contrast bring the brightness down on it see now it looks like it's on the inside of a box press OK looks like my edge here needs to come over okay I've imported some little graphics to use with my box and I'm gonna make it look like this little guy is inside the box it's very easy to do you can even bring this to front control shift forward. The way his little head's back there real good. Maybe we'll make his little eyes peeking out. And then his hands, grab his hands and control shift up. Bring those to front. Then they'll be out in the box on the side of the box again. On top. Get them in the right angle. There we go. Okay, so there's a little dude in the box and Let's see, here's a little penguin character. Bring him to front. Just stand him out in front of the box. There we go. Maybe off to the side. No. Out in the front. That's good. Right there. Okay, so now that shows you how to set up any kind of 3D custom boxes you want with junk inside of them and you know you can do a lot more to these graphically let's see let's grab this control C actually no, let's grab the whole thing control C control V And let's go ahead and group this one. And group this one. This one will flip it. Make these little corners match up. And there you have it. Now you have uh, two options. You can grab a little rectangle that has a linear gradient of the same color your background is 
and then make the top opaque a little bit see or you can get rid of that don't need that either so you can do that kind of uh, like shine effect and you can also distort the way this item is go ahead and distort it to make it look more like a reflection that's distorted see you can do something like that or if you happen to have a custom image pattern background say something like this Actually, let's just make it solid and let's give it a a grain that's fine so say you had something like that you wouldn't be able to just put a black rectangle in there you can go up to commands you highlight the item that you want to give the mask to you go up to commands creative where is that creative auto vector mask and you'll see that it puts a mask on it that auto applies and you can change the settings inside before you apply it to put any kind of mask you want so you can do something like that and then even bring the opacity down to give it a little more realism <clears throat> and that's if you had some kind of uh, image pattern background like that see you can still make a reflection on it so it's pretty cool so that's how you can make a custom box and then you can give this thing uh, a little glow make it look cool the whole thing there we go it's pretty awesome and it's pretty easy way to create 3d perspective items boxes, boxes with lids, whatever you want to do. Okay, we'll see you next lesson.